مرحبا Hello Welcome to Arabic lessons today with me Nada Today our lesson is going to be very enjoyable because it's going to be about crazy words in Arabic So let's see these words together So the first two crazy words that we have today are Malek and Malik And I think that you can guess why I called them crazy words Can you guess? Yes, exactly! They have the same letters but different tashkil or harakat So the first one is Malek The second one is Malik And this makes them also have a different meaning So Malek means angel And the plural of it is Malaika, angels And Malik is king And the plural of it is Muluk So Malek, angel, Malik, king Now the second group of crazy words are Janna, Jinna and Junna And as you can see the Jim letter is changing only from Ja to J to Ju The first one Janna means paradise Yes, paradise The second one Jinna means Jinn You know the Jinn And if you read the Quran there is an ayah min al jinnati wa nas Jinna is Jinn The third one is Junna, Junna, which means protection. For example, Asiyamu Junna, fasting is protection. Junna. So Janna, paradise, Jinna, Jin, Junna, protection. Another group of crazy words for today are Amra and Imra. Again here, only one letter is changing its tashkil, which is the alif. It becomes from a to e. So it changes from a to e. Amra means order or matter. Imra means evil action. So amra and imra. Now, I want you to have a look on these two words and tell me what's the difference in the tashkil. Hmm, there is no difference. So basically, it's the same word, but it has two different meanings and the plural for every meaning is different. The first meaning for ain, which is our word, ain, is I, and the plural of it, ayun. The second meaning, spring of water, and the plural of it is ayun. So, ayn, I, that we can see with, and the plural of it is ayun. And ayn, spring of water, the plural of it is ayun. Now, another group of three words, three crazy words. Let's read them. Sana, sina. And sunna. Sana means year. Normal year. Sina means sleepiness. And if you know ayat al-kursi, la ta'khuduhu sinatun wa la naum. Sina is sleepiness. And the third one, sunna. Sunna, which means a certain way. So sunna is like a certain way or act of doing something. So, sana, year, sina, sleepiness, sunna, certain way. And the last two crazy words for today are kal and kul. Again, here the calf letter is changing from ka to ku. Kal is weakness and kul means all. For example, kullukum means all of you. So, Kal, weakness, and kul, all. And before ending today's lesson, I would like to give you a homework, which is to use three of today's crazy words and sentences. You can write the answers to your homework down below in the comments or send them to me by email. 
If you like today's lesson, don't forget to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to receive notifications for my upcoming videos. You can also contact me through Gmail, arabicwithmada at gmail.com and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Arabic underscore underscore lessons. You can also like my Facebook page, Arabic Lessons with Nada. Last but not least, I'm gonna tell you, see you soon, Arakum Kariban.